I wanted to do a video of my new kayak. It's the Hammerhead kayak. It's called the Whale Shark. It's 13 feet long. It holds 600 pounds, which is a lot of stuff. Um, I just got this red one uh, yesterday from Sea to Swamp in Gulfport. Um, they did not have a red one when I got there. So when I asked about a red one, he called Mr. Eddie at Hammerhead Kayaks in Theodore, Alabama, and he brought it over for me from Alabama yesterday. Um, I met Mr. Eddie at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum at the boat show where he sold me this blue one, which was the floor model that was at the boat show, and I really wanted it. He sold it to me at the boat show, and then I just went and picked it up at the boat show. So um, I've had that one since February, but I always wanted it in red, and my husband likes it, so my husband is going to take the blue one, and I am going to keep the red one. Um, however, the red one that we just bought came with a fin drive. This is the fin drive. I prefer the propeller pedal drive, which is what my blue one had. So what my husband did was, he, since he likes the fin, what he did was, you just take out the middle. This whole section right here um, comes out. This is the one that needs to go back in it with the fin drive. And he swapped it and put it in my red one. So now I have the pedal drive with the propeller in the red one. And it was really easy to do. It's just these four screws right here. You just unscrew them. I unscrewed that one. We swapped them. So now the red one is the pedal drive. Um, this is my pedal drive. It just goes in this little slot right here. Locks in like that. Comes up and down like this i do have these are can koozies i fish a lot barefoot and the pedal digs into your foot a little bit so i put those can koozies on there if you're kayaking around barefoot and great option for that um like i said it is 13 feet long so it's huge it comes with this huge trunk in the front it's my husband's extra fins that came with his fin drive i just have to move them to his and it, of course that locks closed um it also comes with this option, opens, and that is completely sealed. Um, we did on the blue one take this off and we turned it around so it opens backwards instead of this way, just because it's easier for me when I have to slide the seat back to open it this way. Um, because when my seat is, when I'm on the seat, the seat is way up here because I'm so short. Now this seat does have three different positions, low, medium and then it's of course this is the highest one um these seats it's a little awkward to do one side it's got one on each side you do just pull that and you can set your seat however you like it um this is steering right here just back and forth um it has i think 12 scupper holes through the whole thing which i've never had any standing water in the blue one and i've taken it out Two or three times a week since I got it back in February. Um, it has two rod holders in the front. It has four rod holders in the back. It has this large cargo area. Normally I have two um, marine coolers here. One I keep drinks and snacks in. One I'll put my fishing bait in. And then um, this just holds anything else. Usually my life jacket is back here. Um, the thing, also my husband is going to swap out. I have this boondock shredder on my blue one. Um, I'll post another video that shows it better. And then this is the actual rudder that comes with it. It's this one. It's down way further. And then this comes up for travel. This comes up. There's a cotter pin that goes through right there to hold it up. Um, we have, my husband has them both on the trailer today. Um, I did buy that box from Hammerhead Kayak. Um, it hooks on the back of the seat, holds my tackle box, my bump board's in there, I have a cutting board in there for if I have to cut bait. Um, my husband is going to add some stuff to it. I have an anchor trolley here on the blue one. I bought a new anchor trolley. He's going to mount it on this side for me um, of the new red one. Mm -hmm. There is this cut, this cover right here. I got to clean it off. This cover actually, when your goes down, fits over there so you don't get any water in there with you. I'm not... I probably am not going to keep that seat. I'd like a seat that swivels. So my husband is going to use that aluminum. He's going to weld me a frame. So I can put a seat that has 360 degrees on it. So swap around. Just because it's easier. Because the seat is so far up for me. I have this big gap. And then I have my coolers. 
but because my seat's up so far, I have this large area right here where I can store more stuff. And usually I have like my stringer, my um, net is usually back there, my cast net is back there sometimes. Um, it has these large, two large trays, one on each side to hold stuff. It has a cup holder over there. Um, on that one, I did add some, it has some, it has these rails, this rail, and it's got the rails in the back. And then because my seat, I usually have most of the rail in the back behind the seat that I can mount stuff to. Um, I, there were extra, these rails, these little 12 inch rails were not, did not come on the blue kayak. They're, you know, added extra where I put some cleats and I put an extra cup holder because my husband likes me to take walkie talkie. Um, for when we're not close, he doesn't have to call me on my cell phone. He can just use the walkie-talkie Because I have a tendency to go where I want and not stay close to him, which he is not appreciative of I did on this seat I did add these Pool noodles to the seat right here just because sometimes this thing cuts into my thighs because my shorts are usually shorter than my husband's. So that kind of digs into my thighs a little bit. So I put these pool noodles in there. And then I put some extra like hooks and stuff. I leash my um, fishing poles down when I'm moving. I'm telling you, you drop one fishing pole overboard. Your husband never lets you live it down. So now I have paddle leashes on everything. Um, fishing poles, that kind of stuff. So I don't drop anything over. Um, but I do love it. I can't wait to get out in the red one once he gets it done. He said it's a little too hot today, and we did fish yesterday morning, so he said he's, this afternoon he's going to do that. Thank you.